Hello everyone, my name is Chris Ortega and I'm an undergraduate engagement librarian at the University of Iowa Libraries. I, along with outreach and research librarian Rachel Garza Carrion, served as a co-curator for the 2021 Main Library Gallery exhibit, Building Our Own Community, 50 years of the Latino Native American Cultural Center founded by Chicano and American Indian students in 1971. Rachel and I could talk for hours about the exhibit, but for this video, I wanted to focus on the publications produced by the El Knight throughout its history. More specifically, I wanted to highlight the use of Spanglish in some of those publications, particularly their literary journal, Not Watson. Spanglish, very, very broadly speaking, is English and Spanish mixed together. When it is written out in a literary context, there are often extra details added to the text for people that might not speak both languages, such as italicizing the Spanish words or having translations for Spanish words somewhere either on the page or in a glossary. In the Elnac publications, and in particular in Watson, this is often not the case. The students write in a completely untranslated Spanglish. They want to speak completely in their own voices and as such, make no concessions. They are unapologetic about their language and who they are, and honestly, I find that very inspiring. It's a great example of how students at the Elnac have always advocated for themselves and celebrated their identities. Here, I'll read a quick Spanglish example from Nahuatzin so that everyone can get an idea of what it can sound like. The Nahuatzin is 50 cents or nada depending on who sells it to you. If you would like to receive Nahuatzin in the future when we can come up with another issue, pues, esa raza, send us your address para poder localizarlos. Si usted o su organización desea recibir Nahuatzin, pues pa pronto, mándenos su dirección y el mentado zip code. No sabemos cuándo salgamos con otro número, pero prometemos no dormirnos. Chévere! We try not to sell the magazine, but we do need the money, so help us if you can. Mándenos sus nickles y dimes a Nahuatzin, 308 Melrose Avenue, Iowa City, Iowa, 52242. So, that was an example of Spanglish in an issue of Nahuatzin. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy the exhibit.